What's up guys, this is Luis from Alibi Security and today we're going to be covering sharing your Vigilant camera from the primary phone to another phone using the P2P method. Once the owner of the device has added the Vigilant unit using the P2P method to the mobile app, you can share it to other users. The first thing you want to do is have the other user download the Alibi Vigilant mobile app from the Play Store or the App Store. At the login screen, they want to hit the sign up option on the bottom left. Here they want to enter their email address so they can sign up for a P2P account. So I'm going to go ahead here and enter an email address so I can sign up for an account. Go ahead and select the I have read and agree. Select the verify option. Alright, so the mobile app is going to send a code to that email address so you can verify. So I have received that. I'm going to go ahead and type in my code now. I want you to create a password for this account. So this account has been created. Once you're at the main screen here, you want to hit the menu button on the top left. Tap on the avatar. In here, you can select username and you can create a new custom username. And we'll save that check mark on the top right so now we have a custom username to our liking vigilant user demo at this point we'll go to the admin or owner's phone and share their device to this account from the owner's phone you want to go to the vigilant mobile app hit the menu button on the top left hand side go to devices here we're going to choose the vigilant test unit which we're going to share we're going to have a list of options here towards the bottom you'll see the share button when you're sharing a device, you can actually have the option to share individual cameras. So if we select one of these cameras, we can go through the same process. In this demo, we're just gonna show how to share the entire unit. So we'll tap on the Vigilant Test Unit. Here, we're gonna type in the username, which is Vigilant User Demo. Hit the OK option. For valid period, it's automatically set to 30 days. You can make that indefinite by just scrolling the year up. 2042 type by function when you have it by function you're going to have these options below here you have live view ptz control two-way audio alarm notifications and playback we'll select playback for this user if you select type you do have a couple options available if you select by role if you do have user accounts set up on this unit you can select that user account Right now, we're actually just going to use by function. Once we hit the share option, it will share it to the Vigilant User Demo and they will have access to view this unit. Go ahead and hit share. And that has been shared successfully. Moving back over to the Vigilant User's phone. Once the admin has shared that device with this user, you can hit the menu button on the top left, go to devices. And you'll notice that that device is listed as online. If you don't see your device there, if you pull down from the menu, it will refresh that screen and you should see the unit pop up. So now if we tap on that unit and hit start live view, it does start those cameras and you do have access to the unit. As the owner of these devices, if you want to cancel the sharing option for a specific user, you can hit the menu button on the top left. And then you want to go to your user account, which is the top left icon up there. And then under my sharing, we'll see that this vigilant test unit is being shared to the vigilant user demo. If I tap on that, I will have the option here to cancel sharing. So when I hit this, stop sharing, you wanna say yes, that user will no longer have access to this unit. You can also share this unit using the QR code method. With this method, the other user still needs to download the mobile app and register for an account as well. Once they have an account, you can hit the menu button, go to devices. Under devices, we wanna go to the vigilant test unit and go to share. Also, we want to select Vigilant Test Unit again, and then we do have the QR code option there. The sharing password is going to be an extra layer of security that we can use. So when we send this QR code to somebody via email or text message, they will need to know this sharing password in order for the unit to add to their device. So here we're just going to put add123 as the password. The valid parity is also going to be set to 30 days, so we just want to crank that up. And then sharing permission, if you do have a user account set on the box, you can choose admin or manager. I do have a manager account on this box, but we're just gonna choose admin. And then we're gonna hit the generate option on the bottom. 
All right, so this is the code that you can either have the other person scan directly from their phone to your phone, or you can actually share it with the share button on the bottom to a text message, email, whatever you would like. Let's move over to the user's phone and show how we can add that unit using the QR code. Once the user is at their phone and does have the mobile app open, they want to hit the menu button on the top left. You want to go to devices. Then we want to hit the add option. Here we're going to have a few options, but in this case, once they have that QR code up in their email or in a text message, or they're going to scan the other person's phone, you want to hit the scan option. It's going to pull up a dialog box. You want to hit OK here and then put it in front of that code. And it says, please enter the sharing password. So this is going to be the add one, two, three password we created. I'm going to hit OK here. So it's going to say shared successfully. If we hit the back button here. Now we do have that vigilant test unit available for us to view. So if I tap on it, go to start live view, it does pull the cameras right up. As the owner of this device, if you do want to revoke access to somebody who did use the QR code to access the unit, you want to go to the menu button on the top left. You want to hit your user account information, top left. You'll have the My QR Codes option here. And you'll notice that for the Vigilant Test Unit, we do have a QR code listed. If we tap on this QR code, we can either share it again to somebody else, or we can hit the Delete button on the bottom right corner. If you do hit the Delete button, the person who has access to the unit will immediately lose access. If they try to scan the code again, it will tell them that the code is invalid. So we're going to go ahead and hit the trash can here, and that's going to say delete the QR code. We want to hit the delete option. At that point, whoever used the QR code would no longer have access to the unit. That concludes the P2P sharing options for the Vigilant mobile app. Also, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for future video updates.